to the Arcana. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Would you believe that my guest prayed for the sick for 30 years? He saw two headaches healed, and people even died. <laughs> they, that's, that's the truth. He, did, he got to the point he didn't even want to pray for anyone. You can under, 30 years. God supernaturally set him free of unbelief. And he has, a, with a vengeance, he wants to set you free from all unbelief. Do you want it? Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Are there hidden forces of darkness trying to block God's blessings for your life? Do angels exist, providing us with supernatural protection, disarming our enemies? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural! Dr. John and Jack, Janet Trudian. And uh, John, I don't know how you did it. 30 years. Now, I prayed for a year and got no one healed, and someone actually died with me. But 30 <laughs> years? And, this, and the sad thing is, one of the people that died was your own father. Yes. It, uh, but is it true you reached a point where you really were afraid to pray for people? I think the greatest source of frustration in my entire life up to that point was the healing ministry. It was, I was frustrated, I was disappointed, and I just viewed it as a complete failure. And I would pray for the sick, I'd try to get myself up to pray for the sick, and I would pray for the sick, but I wasn't seeing any results. People were not getting healed. I'd pray for people that were dying, and they would die, they wouldn't recover. I prayed for people that weren't dying, and they would die. It was very bad. It was very bad, and um, it's contradictory to Scripture. This is how I knew my life was not right, because uh, Mark chapter 16, verse 17 says, um, and 18 says, these signs shall follow those who believe. The only requirement is to believe. It doesn't say those with gifts of healing. It says those who believe, in my name they shall cast out demons, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Well, I'm trying to cast demons out of people, and they're not being cast out. I'm laying hands on the sick, and they're not recovering. And I'm frustrated, and I don't know what to do. I know the problem's not God. God wanted the very first person I prayed for to be healed. But that's not my reality. My reality is not lining up with Scripture, so I know that something must be wrong with me. The problem's never God. God's never the problem. I knew the problem was me, but I didn't know how to fix me. So at this point in my life, it's been like 30 years, I don't know what to do. My faith is low. This is when my father developed a, a metastatic cancer. He went to be with the Lord. He's a believer, loves God with all his heart. But it was absolutely devastating for me to, to lose my dad in that way. And um, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm at a crossroads, and but, I know- But your wife was in a, was it, Janet, was it an automobile accident? Yes. What, what happened to your knee? Well, I was at a gas station one day, and I went to get something out of the trunk of my car, and the car that came up behind me experienced brake failure, and I was smashed between the bumpers of two cars. And I was taken to the hospital, and the first miracle was I wasn't killed and nothing was broken. But I had extreme damage, bruising along my leg and nerve damage, and the knee was crushed. So I, I recovered to the point that I could walk, but I never ran again at that point. 
So the, the two of you go to a meeting, I believe. Yes. And what happened to you? Well, I had picked up a book called When Heaven Invades Earth. And that just sparked something in me because we had been faithful church churchgoers. We read our Bible and we would pray, but I'd never heard of miracles happening in a church. So when I read about that, I said, I want to go see this thing. I want to go see this thing. So we went to a conference and Bill Johnson was speaking and he had a word of knowledge. And he said, there are people here tonight who have been in an accident in previous years who are now having chronic pain. He said, God wants to heal you tonight. My eyes got big and I stood up real fast and I raised my hand. <laughs> and he said, it was so commonplace with him. He said, okay, people behind these people with their hands raised, just put your hand on them and pray a simple prayer. I pray you be healed in the name of Jesus. So when that happened, I felt this power hit me and actually knocked me backwards into a chair and my legs started tingling. I continued to feel this tingling all night long. It would wake me up, wake me up, tingle, tingle, tingle. And in the morning when I woke up, I had no swelling, I had no pain, and even the nerves had been reconnected. So, John. What's going on inside of you when you see what happens to your own wife? Oh, she became a different person after that. I mean, she was always a, a devout woman. No, but, but she became that. What happened to you? We were at a meeting of the School of Healing and Impartation with Randy Clark in Mechanicsburg, and one of the guest speakers was a man named Dr. James Maloney. And he starts saying about all these miracles that he's seen, uh, God healing hearts with pacemakers disappearing, metal dissolving out of people's bodies. Did you believe that? Yeah, when he's saying it, yes. Okay. Yeah. Creative and recreative miracles. And I'm like, this is what I've dreamed about my entire life. I told Janet, I said, this is it. This is what I've longed for my whole life. And he's talking about his panoramic operation, how he sees things in the spirit and God gives him pictures. So he calls this little girl up. Now, I don't know the exact ages I'm guesstimating here. She was maybe 11, 12, 13 years old, but she was the size of a five or six year old. She had a very severe condition that caused her growth to be stunted. So he calls her up, goes into this very specific details. God gives him a panoramic vision of this, this, this little girl's problem, and he names it exactly. I and mean, that's enough to blow me away right there. I said, honey, I said, I've never seen anything like this. This is amazing to me. Because uh, she was shorter than she should have been. And he says, and God's healed you. Then he said, God told me he's going to restore your stature as well. So I'm thinking, okay, great. I said, when this girl's 20 years old, she'll be right. the size of a 20 year old. That's what I'm thinking. Then he says, God, God just told me he's going to restore your stature restore right your now. Stature. Right now. Now, it's game on when you say something like that. I mean, you, you're either a man of faith or you're a complete <laughs> fool at that point. I said, I, I've got to see this. And uh, Dr. James says, everyone just focus on the Lord. Everyone One thing I've learned is like, you on focus on Him. You don't focus the on the problem. You focus on the Lord first and foremost. He says, everyone worship the Lord. And as we're worshiping, this little girl is probably below his belt buckle. She, right before our eyes, she begins to just stretch out above his belt buckle, up to the first button on his shirt, second button on his shirt. And it was almost like at once you could hear the air go out of the room. Almost everyone, <gasps> hold that breath. We'll be right back in a second and you'll find out what happened. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. It, it, it's 30 years without seeing a miracle. Then in the same year, Janet has a major miracle in her knee. And by the way, she has so much faith with knee problems. I'll have her pray for you in a little bit. You go to a meeting and you see a little girl whose growth, uh, she's just stopped growing. And, and James Maloney, the evangelist, says, I'm going to pray for her and you'll see her grow. You're all eyes. Tell me what you saw. Greatest miracle I've ever witnessed, seeing a girl stretch several inches right in front of me. It's life changing. And her, the leg, her pants were way up in the air afterwards. She'd grown so much. 
And I said in that moment, I said, Lord, this is the greatest moment, of, one of the greatest moments of my life. I said, I will give my life for this to see a manifestation of your goodness this way. I witnessed the goodness of God like I'd never experienced before when I saw the look on that girl's face and I saw her grow knowing that her life was never going to be the same. In that same moment, I believe, this is when I, a stronghold of unbelief was broken off of my soul by the witnessing of that miracle. How do I know I was changed? Well, we went back to the hotel that night, and I am just, I'm just overjoyed. I, I can't help but tell everybody about it. You're not going to believe this. We just saw a little girl grow, and I'm telling people, <laughs> you couldn't keep quiet. I couldn't keep quiet. Yeah, this man is community. walking through the lobby, you're and I say, hey, hey, this. you're not going to believe this. This little girl, she was like this, and then she grew. And he's like, he's very skeptical. He says, oh, yeah, well, what's your God going to do about this? And he stretches his his arm out and is all like white and clammy and uh, he's got no, no color. This had happened four hours ago before the meeting. I would have freaked out at seeing that arm. I would have been like, oh no, God, what am I going to do? Oh, but I, now I look at it and I say, that, that's, that's nothing. nothing. That's easy that's for God easy. to heal. <laughs> like, every, like everything had shifted. As we begin to pray for this man, a, a, a little um, dot, like Nothing the size of a quarter, possible. red dot appears where amidst the whiteness, and it slowly begins to go down his arm, and he begins to get the feeling back that he's never had. He's a 26-year-old male, possible. has never felt anything in that arm his entire life, and he's getting the miracle, amazing miracle. He can like feel here, not feel here, but then he can feel here, not feel here. It slowly just goes down. He eventually gets the entire feeling back in his entire arm and hand. He's had an amazing thank encounter you, with God, and he gives thank his life to Jesus. You. He goes from <laughs> skeptic to born again in less than an hour. Okay, tell me, just pull two miracles out and tell me about it that you've seen with your very eyes. We were doing a, did a meeting in uh, Moscow, and a boy had a big, large, firm tumor. And God just took this thing, and it was completely, there wasn't even a trace of the tumor afterwards. And God did a great miracle, and he had no feeling in his leg again. Uh, uh, like, the, like the other miracle, the no feeling, he got complete restoration of his feelings. God had restored the nerves in his leg. Two miracles at one meeting. And uh, there was another lady, a uh, notable miracle, that she had a big indentation in her leg from being kicked by a horse. There was flesh Nothing missing in her leg. And I said, well, just test it out. Do something you couldn't do before. Just, just rub over that spot where the flesh is missing. As she's rubbing, as she's rubbing, we just told her, do something you couldn't do when the glory strong. This was a healing meeting. Faith was rising up in her because she was testing it out. As she's testing it out, God restores missing flesh to her leg and it becomes completely smooth. Okay. You had a dream and then the miracles doubled up on you. You call it the Take your fast dream. Explain that. Yes, in this miracle, in this in this dream, I was standing uh, doing ministry in, in front of a large gathering, a large congregation. The Holy Spirit was highlighting certain people in the audience for healing, and I would say, "God's touching you. Do something you couldn't do before." As soon as they started to test it out, they were like encased in a bubble of water, even though it was not in water. But they were encased in a bubble of water, and it was happening all over the room, all over the room, and people were getting healed very quickly. As soon as they tested it out, bubble of water and crazy, just wonderful miracles were breaking out. Then I look down at my own leg and I see that it's completely mangled. And I say, oh God, help me. I need healing too. And I hear the Lord say, take it fast. And as soon as he says, take it fast, I stretch out my leg and I'm like encased in that bubble of water and God completely restores my leg. It's like he was giving me the perspective of what other people in the meeting were experiencing when they got healed. He gave me the first person perspective of it. And then I woke up from the dream. And uh, I said, I said, Lord, what, what was that all about? And he says, my people are too slow at receiving healing from me. Teach them to receive healing quickly. So I get that word. I've got an evangelical background, so I've got to have confirmation in the word to make sure I'm hearing from God right. And I study the miracles of Jesus, and I notice that Jesus says very quick, short prayers. Stretch out thy hand. They stretch out thy hand, and it's healed. Short sentences. Short ones. You know, arise, take up your mat, and go home. And the paralytic, rise, he does what Jesus says, it's and he's healed quickly. It's not a big quickly. flowery thing. It's no, it's a short prayer, and they listen, and they're healed very, very quickly. So I started to teach on this principle then in the healing meetings from then on, and I started to teach people to take it fast. Step in quickly. Don't delay. Don't hesitate. The Healing presence of God is here now. Take it fast. And I started seeing more than double the number of people healed in the healing meetings, and they were getting healed at a much faster rate. Well, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, do you remember the story about the pool of Bethesda, the first one that could get in the water when it was stirred? 
Well, you don't know this. I know this. Janet has a beautiful singing voice. And when she sings, it's like a river of healing comes out. And I, I would like, after she sings for, and, and prays for the sick, I would like, I would like you to then uh, break all the chains of unbelief off of people. Would you do that? Yes. Be right back. Call now and get John Prudian's powerful brand new book and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Accelerated Healing, Accessing Jesus' Finished Work of Divine Healing. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9542. John's brand new book will lift your spirit and help release a new level of miracle power in your life. Through this book, you will begin to receive a soul transformation by the Holy Spirit, which is the key to receiving divine healing. Learn how to take your healing and breakthrough by force and come against anything opposing it. You will discover how to access the healing power of the atonement, receive what Jesus paid for by His stripes, activate the take it fast principle when receiving your healing, learn how to create an atmosphere of accelerated miracles. I've written this book, Accelerated Healing, so you don't waste 30 years of your life like I did. Many people share my story of pain and frustration of not seeing results when they pray for the sick. This is why I've written this book to get you activated and many, many people are now activated in the healing ministry as a result. Through John's three-part audio CD teaching series, your faith will be turbocharged as you hear John share many first-hand testimonies of divine healing and creative miracles. Through John's teaching, you will understand the signs that follow those who believe, learn how to operate out of the spirit and not the soul, discover how to position your in a place to receive your breakthrough. Begin to walk in a life of victory every day. John includes powerful prayers for God to break every stronghold and control of the mind that is stifling the life of God's Spirit within you for an impartation of supernatural faith so you will believe God for the impossible. For you to receive your breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Don't miss out on getting John Prudian's powerful brand new book and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Accelerated Healing, Accessing Jesus' Finished Work of Divine Healing. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9542. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify Specify offer number 9542 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Okay. You have learned so much so quickly. For instance, tell me about the two thirds life. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 is a key scripture in this. I realized I had to figure out what was going on all those years where people weren't getting healed so that I could help people get out of that quickly. I didn't want to see people. It's not necessary to go 30 years without seeing people healed. And it says, may the God of peace himself, I like that, it's himself, sanctify you completely. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to realize that we're made up of three parts. The spirit is the pneuma. That is our spirit man. Peter calls him the hidden man of the heart. Paul calls him your inner man. That's where when we get saved and filled with the spirit, our, the Holy Spirit resides, comes to reside in our spirit, and our spirit receives from the Holy Spirit. Our soul, that's the suke. That's where we get the word psyche, our mind, will, and emotions, and the soma is the, is the body. Well, when I'm praying for the sick all those years, I'm just thinking, oh, if I just believe in my head, they're going to be healed. They're going to be healed. That's just believing in your soul. And so I'm praying out of my soul. That's and then where laying, a lot of people miss it. Yes. And then I'm laying hands on the sick. So it's only using two thirds, uh, soul and body. What's missing in this equation is what matters the most. The spirit of the God is the most important thing. Without him, we, I've got absolutely nothing. He is the one that heals. It's tapping into the spirit that counts for everything. We need strengthening in our inner man by the Holy Spirit so that it will, uh, our, when our spirit man is strengthened, it'll break through the shell that our soul has created around us. I was taking in garbage in my soul. I have the Holy Spirit, but he's not being released because my soul is in control. This is the problem. The, the hold that the soul had on my spirit 
spirit. It was keeping it confined, was not being able to be released. In that moment where the stronghold of unbelief is, is broken off of me when I'm in the atmosphere of glory, then all of a sudden it begins to trickle. The life of the spirit in Christ Jesus that Romans 8 talks about begins to enter into my soul. And that's where the thinking changes. That's when you begin to pray from a different place in faith. And too many Christians are living out of their soul and their body, but they're not tapped into the life of the Spirit in Christ Jesus, like Romans 8 talks about. Okay, well, I'm going to tap you in right now. I'm going to tell you how. Janet, I want you to sing, and then both of you pray as God directs. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. Pray for knees, Janet, to be Thank restored. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you are Savior and that you are healer. And I know that what you have done for me, you will do for others. I know that it's your delight and your pleasure to pour out your love and your goodness by healing your people. So we thank you, Jesus. And if you have pain in your knees, I want to speak to it right now. And I speak to that pain, especially if you've been in an accident, if you've got any pain, that's lingering from some accident. I speak to it now and I say, pain go in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And break the hold of unbelief. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just pray in this moment out of the riches of your glory, Lord, that they may be strengthened in their inner man by the Holy Spirit, that all unbelief in this moment is broken in the name of Jesus, Lord, that words of faith, Lord, that faith would arise up in people, Lord God, to begin to speak your words and be led by your spirit, that they would begin to experience miracles by their own hands, God. I thank you, Lord. I just see the Lord right now. He's touching, uh, someone has a gallstone uh, issue that he is uh, dissolving gallstones. There's a man named Paul in Texas, and uh, you've got an infection, and it's affected your spleen, and uh, God wants to heal you right now. Jane in California, you've got a, uh, a right shoulder and a neck issue, and God is restoring you in this moment. Lord, I thank you for touching them. I thank you for breaking unbelief, Lord. I just pray, Lord, Holy Spirit, come right now in this moment and flood their souls, Lord. I thank you, Lord. They have the mind of Christ, the mind of Christ now, Lord God. Their mind is being transformed into the mind of Christ by the power of your Spirit that is living within them, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Someone's got a right ankle that's being healed right now. Just go ahead and test it out. Take it fast. Don't hesitate. Accelerated healing is bringing God's yesterday into your today. What he's already declared in times past, you're entering into now in this moment. Take it fast. There's somebody here with a, um, oh, you have a broken rib that's not healing right uh, on the left side. Just take it fast. Receive healing. Just begin to move like this and, and uh, test it out. You'll find that it's being restored in Jesus' name. Lord, and we give you all the glory and all the honor. You are the healer, Lord. We thank you. We thank you in your wonderful, precious name. And just one more thing. Someone's left ear has just been opened in Jesus' name. Have you ever wondered why are so many people still sick and suffering in spite of the fact that Jesus paid the price for our healing through His work on the cross? John Prudian barely saw anyone healed in 30 years of ministry. The 30 years were absolutely miserable, and that was not God's will. And God had to show me some things and give me revelation in His Word about who He is to minister like Jesus. Now miracles are commonplace. He wants to share with you how you too can receive your healing and be used of God to heal others. 
years. Call now and get John Prudian's powerful brand new book and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Accelerated Healing, Accessing Jesus' Finished Work of Divine Healing. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience, yours, for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9542. John's brand new book will lift your spirit and help release a new level of miracle power in your life. Through this book, you will begin to receive a soul transformation by the Holy Spirit, which is the key to receiving divine healing. Learn how to take your healing and breakthrough by force and come against anything opposing it. You will discover how to access the healing power of the atonement, receive what Jesus paid for by His stripes, activate the take it fast principle when receiving your healing, learn how to create an atmosphere of accelerated miracles. I've written this book, Accelerated Healing, so you don't waste 30 years of your life like I did. Many people share my story of pain and frustration of not seeing results when they pray for the sick. This is why I've written this book to get you activated and many, many people are now activated in the healing ministry as a result. Through John's three-part audio CD teaching series, your faith will be turbocharged as you hear John share many first-hand testimonies of divine healing and creative miracles. Through John's teaching, you will understand the signs that follow those who believe, learn how to operate out of the spirit and not the soul, discover how to position your in a place to receive your breakthrough. Begin to walk in a life of victory every day. John includes powerful prayers for God to break every stronghold and control of the mind that is stifling the life of God's Spirit within you for an impartation of supernatural faith so you will believe God for the impossible, for you to receive your breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. When John prays for you, the unbelief is going to come off and when you get this anointed teaching in the three CDs in this brand new book, Accelerated Healing, the title will become your middle name. Accelerated Healing on the people you pray for. Accelerated Healing for you. Accelerated Healing for your family. That's the way it's supposed to be. Wouldn't you agree? Don't miss out on getting John Prudian's powerful brand new book and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Accelerated Healing, Accessing Jesus' Finished Work of Divine Healing. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience, yours, for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9542. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9542 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Did you know that you were created to live in God's presence? I'm Heidi Baker. Join me on It's Supernatural as I share with you some of the most important keys that I've learned in releasing the atmosphere of heaven, living daily from the presence of God.